Oh, welcome back to the cafe. Thank you very much for joining us. Talking about our feelings can be really hard as an adult, let alone as a kid who's yet to understand what feelings actually even are. Now, to help, a new book called Feel a Little is a new book of poems and vibrant illustrations to get kids and parents to be able to talk about life's ups and downs. Please welcome to the cafe its author, Jenny Palmer, and illustrator, Evie Kemp. Yes. Look at you two. Who wouldn't buy a book off you two? <laughs> oh, I can sense you. this is going to be awesome. <laughs> it's a beautiful little book. What made you come up with the concept, Jenny? Oh, thank you so much. It's um, it's actually a, a subject that's really close to our hearts. We're both emotional people and friends and have both worked with children in the past and we just know it's so important to get that start really early in life, you know, processing emotions, being able to communicate around them and for educators and families it's just really important to have a toolkit. Yeah, and know that they're normal and it's the yeah, mm. normal level yeah. of things. Yes, validating them and giving children ways to visualise what they're feeling as well is really important and, and uh, having it rhyming is good because that's a good way to engage with children. Educationally. Evie, is this the first collaboration in book world that you two have done? For us two, yes. We've both previously done children's books. Right. But this is our first book together. But um, ever since we basically met, we always said we wanted to work together. So it's kind of been about seven years. <laughs> Taken us seven years. And it's finally happened. <laughs> and it's finally happened, yeah. yeah. How do you come up with the pictures, Evie, to illustrate the feelings? Like, where do you start? It was just a really in, um, instinctual kind of process actually and just sort of always had a feeling a feeling about the feelings <laughs> <We're unstoppable laughs> now. About i know feelings. we shouldn't say feelings too much um it's sort of the colors and the shapes and sort of the feel so i suppose to me these are how i visualize the feelings um and then they'd go back to jenny and we'd sort of ask other people what they felt they thought maybe the eyes needed changing things like that but it's very um yeah, you see, they're quite simple shapes, and I kind of just went with my gut with them, actually. That's right. the thing, yeah. they're very simple shapes, but when you actually look at them, they all portray exactly what you're trying to get oh, through. Like the, the jealousy, I'll show you the jealous one here, because I think this one really is perfect in making you sort of, it just, doesn't it? It's just like jealous, you can just see the jealousy there. Yeah, they really the personify <laughs> it. <I think. laughs> Why do you think it's important for young kids to even understand feelings? Oh, we have so many problems nowadays with our poor youth dealing with their emotions and depression and isolation mm -hmm. and it's just the whole community has to get together to try and work on these issues and, and just really make space for them to talk about it and that starts from very, very young and we get lovely stories about mm -hmm. little children really responding to the colours and the shapes and the rhymes and then older children referencing them and uh, you know opening up the frustrated poem and talking you know using the language and the phrases we've used which mm. we're all well researched and lots of thought mm. went into them but have, have you did nice have you done say. it so it's going to be for the parents to read to the children or is it for children to read on their own it's both it, we've seen both work really well which has been amazing we've we've definitely seen the little ease respond but the older children read it themselves mm. and um, and they really internalize a lot of the imagery and it's great we've had a lot of kids talking about the anger volcano and how it builds up and erupts and yeah do you really think cool. evie we've underestimated children and perhaps the importance of letting them know and experience feelings. Absolutely, I mean I think you just have to look at a child, a very young child having a tantrum and you realise what's going on in their head is, it isn't just a simple thing, it's, it's just as complicated as as us adults, yeah, yeah. And quite yeah. But too, without the they? communication, yes, yes. And very perceptive, it's so perceptive, without you know anything mm. getting filtered. So this is the mm. perfect way to help yeah. explain yeah. all those. They're emotions. not little aliens; they're no. not little no. things. No. <laughs> they, they can't go out and talk to a you know a girlfriend or a yeah. husband. Yeah. Or Do you have a favourite in here that you'd like to just like read a couple of lines from? Go on, Jenny, pick Jenny. quickly. Oh, gosh. <laughs> just to get people an idea of how how it actually works. Yeah. Right. So you pick a poem at random. For example, the worried poem. <laughs> Which is probably good for this morning. We were both a little worried. <laughs> uh, right, so it starts off. Some worries are little, so you face them and they go. But other ones are bigger, they inflate on you and grow. You can feel a little anxious when those worries cloud around. They can make you hide inside, afraid, all stuck, all run aground. But did you know that worries are like bullies? And it's true. When you're all alone, they're scary. When they're shared, they can't scare you. Worries may not go completely, but together we stand tall, and together we can face them, conquer anything at all. 
Oh, Yay. that is so nice. <laughs> and you, know, you are so right too, because it is a big issue at the moment, mental health in mm. New Zealand, and mm. this is just another tool you can add to the toolbox to help particularly young children understand what's going on. So well done, congratulations. Thank you so much. Yeah. World domination soon, huh? <laughs> That's the plan. Yeah, <laughs> nice. <laughs> I feel a little ambitious. Where, <laughs> can, where can we get this one from right now? <laughs> it's in bookstores nationwide, nice. and lots of online re retailers. Yeah. Cool. Well, thank yeah. you so much for coming yeah, in and you, you can join the conversation on the Feel A Little Facebook page.